In this video, I'm going to show you why the Gun Bunch is the best offense in Madden 22. I'm going to give you an example of a way that you can beat a 30-yard cloud flat really, really easily out of the bunch and show you one of the main reasons why I think bunch is so uh, good year in and year out. Part of it is because of the fact that the formation flips really, really easily, so it's easy to, um, you know, it's easy to put, you know, you know, essentially run short side bunch or wide side bunch. But this year, the reason why I think bunch is so good is because you can run a legitimate offense on the short side of the field, which in previous years, most of, for the most part, you wanted to run your bunch to the wide side. In this year's game, you can actually run it to either side and have significant amount of success. So you see here, I'm going to go with some basic zone drops. A lot of the competitive players are using 30 yard cloud flats and they're using this cover too. And so we're going to show you um, how I would recommend beating this out of the gun bunch. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also wanted to let you know just real quickly that I have an entire gun bunch offensive ebook over at my true fan uh, membership page. I actually have over 10 ebooks over there. And for signing up for the true fan membership, it's literally just $10 a month and you're going to be able to get access access to all of my content, all of my eBooks, all of my exclusive tips, all of my pro player breakdowns and film studies. So if you want to get access to that, again, it's just 10 bucks a month and you can cancel it whenever you want. So if you don't want to pay, if you only want to pay for one month and then cancel it, you certainly can do that. That's your prerogative. But while your subscription is active, you'll have access to every single piece of content that I produce um, in terms of also all of my eBooks. So that being said, let's dive into the video. This is the Gun Bunch Verticals. And this is probably the best cover two beater uh, in the game, in my personal opinion. And we're going to set this up really simple. And it's going to allow you to have a high low on the left side with the crosser. Um, and you want to do this ideally with your bunch to the short side. This play is very, very powerful, especially from the short side. This is something that John Beast uh, was doing earlier in the season. It's also something that Skimbo, uh, I think, is, has been doing a lot as well. And Skimbo, in my personal opinion, is the best gun bunch player year in and year out and i uh, just love watching him and learning from him so that being said gun bunch verticals to the short side and we're going to show you how to make this crossing route so dang good so the setup here is honestly super simple all we're going to do is we're going to streak the square receiver you can leave him on a fade if you want i personally prefer to streak him then what i like to do is take the tight end and simply put him on a delay fade this is going to give us time in the pocket and allow us to essentially be able to basically beat any blitz in the game um, the beauty of this is also the fact that uh, what I like to do with this is I actually like to take the running back and you can leave him on his route or you could block him or you could put him on a option route. I really do like the option route or you could just leave him on this block and release pattern. The reason I like the block and release pattern is because if they're running the pinch two meta, you're going to be able to pick up the pressure. It's also going to release on an option route. It's why I think Seattle's bunch is so powerful. Not only this, but for other plays, we're going to show you uh, another day. But this is really, really good. So anyways, this is all you're going to do. And from a setup perspective, I like to go ahead and motion this circle receiver to the sideline. You're going to see here he's going to get a quick cut to the outside and then cut up field. And our first read is always the streak. If the streak's not open, we're going to look down to the back. But what you'll see is if they're running the 30-yard cloud, that that route to uh, Cole Beasley is going to get open. Let me show you that one more time. I didn't. I threw that just a little bit too early. So let me show you that same play one more time. Obviously, the wheel route to the circle receiver oftentimes will get open as well on this play. Um, but you notice that that running back was wide open. And this is really going to cause them, in my opinion, a lot of a dilemma with their user because against zone he's just going to curl up and sit in zone if it's a man he's going to cut to the out route and give us an out route uh which is really really good so anyways let me just show you this one more time again you get some time in the pocket you're going to see here you just wait on this and that right there that throw is what makes this offense so good they have to go user that which then opens up the running back on his route on that little option flip route another thing that you could do and this is a just a, an additional concept i'm going to flip my Bunch and run into the short side so i'm gonna give you one more setup um is to take the square receiver because a lot of us at this point in the year have you know some level of hot route master or whatever but simply do the same motion but now what we're going to do is we're going to take square and we're going to put him on an, a dig and i think this is one of the more underrated tips in the game because now they have to defend because a lot of people like to run the tampa 2 so that they can run this this mabel concept right they want to be able to run the mabel coverage which means their user, I'm just going to show this for an example, is going to go to the crossing route nine times out of ten. Then they're going to be forced with the dilemma of a high-low between the running back on that option route 
and then the dig route that's going to be coming from Stefan Diggs. Um, and what you'll see here is this creates just an incredible concept, in my opinion, and one of the most unguardable route combos in the game because you still have your delay fade if you want to release that. But now you have this dig route that gets in such a soft spot in the coverage. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Verticals. Um, this is one of the best plays in Madden. I would argue that this year, this is probably the best play in the game. So if you want to learn my entire gun bunch offensive scheme, be sure to sign up for that true fan membership. It's just 10 bucks a month. You get access to everything in there right now. I have a bunch and a bunch tight end ebook. Um, you can use them together. And then I also am working on a five wide offense. I'm working on a ball control offense and I'm working on a gun doubles offense as well as a couple of other ones on the way. So a lot of content that is coming your way if you sign up for that true fan membership. We've already got 10 ebooks and we're going to continue to add to that. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my full gun bunch offense or all of my ebooks really, or you just want to support me as a creator, be sure to join that true fan membership. It's just 10 bucks a month. And again, you can cancel that whenever you'd like.